There's not a lot of ways to increase your screen real estate from multitasking on your PC besides either going for a dual monitor setup like I have here or looking at an ultra wide or super ultra wide display. But that kind of changed when I saw this Amazon listing and it actually started as a Kickstarter listing for this all in one keyboard and display setup. So you get a 12.9 inch screen and an all in one mechanical keyboard. But for $400, it just didn't really seem all that worth it. So I decided to take that kind of idea, that concept, and put a little DIY spin on it with this 7.9 inch display that I found on Amazon. And although it is a really small package, it does come at a bit of a cost. But if you're looking for that little extra bit of screen real estate and you don't have either the budget or the space for a full extra monitor, this is a really, really cool DIY project to add a little bit of extra screen right above your keyboard. But let's jump into it and I'll show you guys how I DIY this screen and made it an essential part of my desk setup. So here's just a quick look at our waveform 7.9 inch display off of Amazon. There'll be a link down in the description, but the kit comes with a short HDMI cable as well as a micro USB cable for power. And then you also get a bunch of HDMI adapters for if you wanted to use the thing for Raspberry Pi and a bunch of standoffs and screws. So you pretty much get everything you need in the package except for an enclosure. The enclosure is of course where all the fun DIY comes in and that's exactly what we're gonna get into. So I kind of started things off thinking I wanted to do a nice simple design, no need for an entire full enclosure. It's gonna sit behind my keyboard anyways. So it shouldn't really be getting contacted by anything or anything like that. So I figured let's just do kind of a two leg design using those standoffs on the back of the PCB in order to hold these in place. So I started off with a simple cardboard kind of look and I didn't want it to be completely stationary. I wanted some swivel adjustment to it. So when we took it into our Fusion 360 CAD software, we did kind of a two arm setup where the two arms would attach and then allow for a nice swivel. Uh, and then I threw it in my Creality uh, Slicer software so we could actually get the G code for our 3D printer to actually print this out. So if you have a 3D printer, this is an awesome way to make your own DIY stand for this screen. So there it all is. If you guys want the files to these, uh, to these arms, leave it down in the comments below and I'll add in a link to the CAD documents. So here you go, nice simple swivel design there with these arms and it allow the display to actually have some tilt adjustment to it behind our keyboard. And our first iteration was a little bit thin and a little bit flimsy, so I went and just beefed it up a little bit. So that's kind of the final design. It's definitely a lot bigger than the original, but that is perfect for what I needed it for. It's still very uh, sleek and very slim on the back of this display. So there you go, you get the nice swivel adjustment there so you'll have tilt to our display and it's nice and smooth as well. So everything hooked up on the back of our display using the screws that came with the screen and there you go. It looks really clean, very simple like I mentioned a couple times now, but behind our display you're not going to see any of this um, and it's behind the keyboard so again you're really not going to notice it. And there you go. So we're using the USB pass through on our keyboard to power on our screen and then the HDMI cable just kind of wrapping around our keyboard uh, cable there as well. And this is the perfect screen if you want to use it for something like Teams chat or Slack chat or whatever uh, chat or team service that you're using. You can run that on this display now or you can use it for something like Twitch or YouTube gaming chat. As well so if you're a streamer and you want a little display where you have your main gaming up top and you just want chat down below this is an awesome option right above your keyboard and it looks super sleek hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a thumbs up leave a comment and i'll see you guys in the next one